George, tell us about the new uh, tool that you've got here from Goering. Uh, this is the new aluminium RF100A tool. It's a three flute ripper design, three flutes, variable pitch, variable helix. It allows for much higher feed and speed on the customer, much higher metal removal rates, and it's basically designed for aluminium. And what sort of sizes does this come in? This comes from 3 to 20 mil. Um, you can have a cylindrical shank or a whistle knot shank. Uh, for high metal removal rates, we recommend people use the whistle knot shank to stop the, the tool from pulling out, unless, of course, you're going to use it in a power clamping chuck or a heat shrink chuck. And what do you call high metal removal rates at Goering? You're talking probably two cubic millimeter, two sorry, two cubic centimeters uh, a minute. You know, so Ashley here would be able to tell you more about that. He's used them on a. I'll, more, I'll, 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 I'll get to him in a minute. I just want to learn a bit more about this tool. How yeah. how new is it? It was launched at Emo last year in Germany. Um, we've brought it into the UK, probably back end of last year. And who are you focusing this at? Purely aluminium machining. Aluminium machiners machinists, uh, companies who are involved in the aerospace, automotive as well, guys who are using, making small automotive parts or anything else like that. Okay, now it's Ashley's turn. Yes. Ashley, right, uh, great to hear it from George from yep. Goering, but it's always good to get uh, you know, a, a third party opinion. You've been using these cutting tools. What have you experienced in terms of a saving? Uh, for us, real, I see the, the swap out from our previous uh, tool supplier to uh, Goering now. Uh, this tool end up actually being about three or four quid cheaper, but performance wise was where we were struggling. Uh, performance wise, we it's near, nearly six times uh, outperforming our previous tool. Um, in comparison to what we had in stock. Um, our main background, unfortunately, was due to low-powered spindle machines. Um, because of this, we can't run large diameter tools, 16, 20s, etc. So we had to drop down to 12s. Now, whenever George and Chris from Green came along, we were able to um, take these tools, go in full depth, try cordial mill out, slot where we couldn't slot before, um, and again, because of the design of the tool, it took a lot less torque to drive this than our uh, previous version. And was this your baby? Was this what you bought to the business? Yeah, this is one thing I've sort of been nurturing now for the last sort of six months. Um, what, what, what's the cost? Let, let's look at um, an overall cost saving. Someone must have done some analysis to say, by adopting these new cutting tools, we're now saving X amount of thousands of pounds per year, per month, however. Uh, I wouldn't know the cost of the rippers just off the top of my head, but we've done another trial um, with a, a carbide drill from Goring. Um, swapping out our previous drill for the green one, there was a saving of about three grand a week just in production time alone, and that's not taking into account the number of drills that we buy off them. Again, uh, the green drill in comparison to our previous supplier was actually seven quid cheaper per unit. Um, and we're spreading that, that uh, drill across 64 machines currently. That's an incredible, an incredible saving. Is it down to the fact that you were doing it badly before, or down to the fact that Goering have something really stand out here? I don't or somewhere know. between the two? <laughs> I don't know what to say here without getting hit. Um, I'm sure I, George could answer. Yeah, there was a, there's a bit of both, I'm pretty sure, probably not. Um, the way our company was previously run, um, there wouldn't have been such a focus on tooling. There would have been tools in the shop, the tools would have been used, and that was it, left and done. No one ever really questioned, well, is that the best tool that we have for the job? Can we get more performance for the same price? Or in my case, better performance for less. Um, so it's something that we're looking actually at through the whole factory, between five axis and three axis at the minute. Good stuff, thank you, Ashley. George, finally from you. Uh, obviously, this is new from Gurin. What else, is, what else is around the corner? You're always innovating. Yes, um, well, we have our new range of divers out. Um, we've expanded from the standard 6737 out to a three flute range and a four flute range, both for axial and radial cooling exits. Again, for high metal removal rates, it's aimed at general industry, anybody who's cutting steel or anything like that. Works quite well on titanium materials as well. So anybody who's cutting material like that, that's a tool for you. And the, these diver cutters that we got here, the, this is four flute, isn't it? But that's still do, doing a hell of a job. It is, yeah. That, that was, that's the original diver that was brought out eons ago. So what they've done now, and the R&D guys in Germany, they've expanded the range because they found that people are looking for tools with true cooling capabilities for doing pocketing and full slotting. Not that that tool couldn't do full slotting, but they needed something to wash the swarf out. They have now brought it out with the three flute, as I said, four flute with axial and radial cooling actions. Both of them on the same tool. It's, it's not one or the other. You have both of them on the same tool. And you say across materials? Across materials, yes.
Very impressive. Okay, thank you very much, George. Thank no you very much, Ashley. Thanks for your time. Cheers.